Hey everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Play or Pass, the review show where I play a game for a little while and I tell you what I think of it. In today's very exciting episode, <laughs> me gusta guava. That's funny. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to be playing a new game from uh, Drinkbox Studios, and this is a Sony exclusive. <laughs> Locasa de Cra That's awesome. That's Castle Crashers. Uh, it's not made by Behemoth, unlike uh, Battle Block Theater. But we are going to be playing uh, <laughs> this game. It just came out today, actually. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, it's Tuesday, the 9th of April. And uh, this game is fantastic. Like I said, it is a Sony exclusive, so it's only going to be available on the Vita and the PS3. But one of the cool things about it is that if you have cross-play, you can play it on both. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into this real quick. Uh, when you kill enemies, you get money. And with money, you buy your upgrades. So you have like health upgrades, stamina upgrades, and basically stamina is what allows you to do this. So if you look in the top corner, uh, you have those yellow squares. They basically give you more yellow squares. Um, health regen boost, so get health faster. Okay, those are, this is for, uh, all right, let's see. So I want uh, Das Boot. Punt enemies far away from you while grappling. Form a devastating suplex and multiple. Massive splash. Deal massive damage to a single enemy. Uh, so I want to buy one of these. I don't know which one though. I don't want to kick enemies away because I want them to be closer so I can do combos. I know this is all very, like I haven't really explained anything yet, but all, all will make sense soon. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just get the suplex and soon we'll be able to... This game's got a lot of style. Like I can already tell you that, I absolutely love this game and it, there's so many cool things in it. Oh, Swift Dog. Oh, oh, hold up. Are you just going into the temple? I was just in there, and trust me, you don't want any part of that. Creatures have been pre appearing out of thin air, and I swear I caught a glimpse of the, uh, of the world of the dead. I barely made it out alive. Alright, so we're obviously going to go anyway. We're not afraid of any... Whoa, this is cool. Um, so this is... We're actually jumping right into this. This is Portal right here. We'll train, take us to the land of the dead, which in the land of the dead, you can only do certain things, and in the land of the living, you can only do certain things. Um, so this is the combat. It's fairly simple. Beat I wouldn't even call it beat 'em up. Really, I mean it is beat 'em up, but I mean it's a little more intricate than that. There's a really great combo system um, that you can it's actually really lenient too. And typically it allow you to combo everything in the room as long as you don't get. Uh oh, who's this lady? Oh my, who do we have here? Is that the husky luchador I've heard uh, Jaguar or Hag? I don't know how they pronounce it, but Jaguar Javier speak of. Ionis. Hmm. Seems like he skipped out on the best parts. <laughs> ah, Luchador, loosen up. I suppose you're looking for Callis or Calica. He's off with Flameface and that girl preparing for his ceremony. Maybe instead of chasing after them, you and I could have a bit of fun. Uh, no. Bam. Dude, she's got attitude. Hmm. No effect. Well, if we meet again, maybe you'll be worthy or worth my attention. But right now, Calica's pet, Alebreja, calls to me. He is lonely and in need of some seriously heavy petting. Oh my god. <laughs> Double entendres. <laughs> oh, that's great. Alright, so now I am going to go ahead and have to fight some people. Oh my god, what are these guys? These guys are new. I have not seen them. Um, they just seem to jump around a lot, which is fine because air combos are really easy. And they uh, keep me out of trouble from getting hit by other... I think I just got hit. That's okay. Um, I already got the achievement for going through... Or I should say trophy. For going through one of these areas. Oh, God! Alright, so let's try and use our new suplex. Um, if we can. So, we need a grapple. And... Oh, I messed it up already. Yeah! Wait. Oh, no. I went the wrong way, actually. With that. that was just a normal slam. Oh, damn. That was awesome. Okay. It, so, it's kind of difficult to keep in mind that you have to grab a triangle and then do uh, thank you. So that last combo was really good. So you get more combos by uh, slamming into other enemies and stuff like that. So one little tiny complaint I have about this game, and this is just so far, this might change as we go on, is the fact that there's no double jump really. I mean there might be later on, but the double jump in this game right now, there's a lot of portals around here and it's confusing me. Um, the double jump is jumping and then using this pile driver. Um, or this uh, uppercut move, and that's okay. Like that's, I'm not like, oh, and you can't use it twice in a row. That's unfortunate. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Well, I can't do that. 
So this is kind of more when they, like, you get into like puzzle elements, I guess you could say. You can't punch through that. But it, I mean, it's not, it's not like too bad. Uh, I don't. See, it's like it turns into. You don't know if you want to warp or not, but it's pretty simple. Um, I think I have enough money now. Yeah. So let's buy. Uh, hmm. I guess let's buy a health trunk because they're really cheap. Oh, we have to buy multiple ones of that. Don't we? Okay, I didn't realize that. Oh well. Uh, let's see what this does. Okay, so this makes a door over here. So let's just see what's inside here. So this game is very much uh, a Metroidvania, and that's something that people like to throw out a lot, like a phrase, really. But it, honestly, it really, that's actually what it is. Like, it's not, uh, ugh. I'm not just saying that, like, this is straight up, like, a Metroid-style game. And uh, I, have, I actually like that a lot. Um, I think that's a really cool genre of game that you don't see that often anymore. Um, so I'm not complaining at all. Okay, so we need to avoid the portals here if we can somehow. Doesn't seem possible. Oh, it actually. Oh, no, no, no. Ugh. So yeah, it's it's kind of strange to use that as a double jump. Also, those are all save points as well as uh, healing. They also heal you. What are these guys? Holy crap! Ugh. You also have a roll, and the cool thing about the roll is it actually like completely allows you to avoid damage. Um, some people may seem to see it as cheap, maybe, but I, I personally just think it's really useful, um, and it, it adds to some of like the puzzles in the game. Now, okay. So yeah, these are new enemies. The whole game is very, very much, I mean, I don't think I even need to say it, but it's very, very steeped in, uh, la uh I don't know, I don't want to say the wrong thing. It's very much steeped in lore, uh, which is one of the coolest things about that. I don't necessarily know what happens when we complete that, um, but it should be awesome when we do. Uh, but there are also, obviously, pieces of, oh god. Oh, is this going to lower them into the lava? Oh my god, that's awesome! Oh wait, no, never mind. Wait, maybe it does. Let's see. Yeah, that was awesome. Cool. And then also at the end of every uh, every end of at the end of every fight, you get uh, a pinata. Oh god, there's actually bad guys in here. I actually kind of didn't expect that. So I don't. I meant to suplex. So I I get obsessive when it comes to games that allow you to do combos. Um, I hate when I mess up a combo. Like I get really hard on myself for it, and uh, I, that's something I really like about. The, I guess there's no uh, no prize there. Um, I I love. There's nothing quite like the feeling of just getting a huge. Oh my god! Okay, that means we have to go into the other land, the world, to see him. Uh, this thing is kind of cool though. Uppercut. Uppercut. Oh, oh crap, dude, that messed up, where'd he go? Okay, so we can't take any hits, I guess, which is a little crazy. I'm assuming we're supposed to be able to beat him, like, fighting him, but at the same time, I don't know, he does a lot of damage. Alright, so I guess I won't have to worry so much about combos in this fight. Oh, I thought I could do that. Oh, there we go, that wasn't too bad. Oh, now I get to these guys. So yeah, like I said, when you have uh, when you have guys that you can't actually hit, it's because they're in the other world, and you have to transfer over like that. And the nice thing is it's like instant, so it's not like you're gonna ruin a combo, even though I did because I got hit. So let's go ahead and use a suplex because it's awesome and it does splash damage. I also like just being able to toss them around, uh, and I think we're good there. The other cool thing though about, uh, like I said, you can't hit them. But you can still dodge them, which I think is really cool. Oh, um, I don't know which one we're supposed to be in, but we just need to drop down here. And uh, if it wasn't clear enough that this was a Metroidvania, they even threw in uh, the, what are they called? In this game, they call them the Chuzu statues. I don't remember what they're actually called in Metroid, and I apologize for that. And here's our little goat buddy. This guy is so funny. Dude, seriously, stop breaking my stuff. Seriously. The first thing he asks you is if, if your mom is single. Whatever, time to teach you the Olmex headbutt. It's easy cheesy. Press circle while standing still to send those escalators high, sky high. Square. I'm sorry. I, so I love stuff like this. Uh, I don't know why. It just adds so much flavor to the game. Now sit. Now get going before I find your mother. Yeah, I don't know what his obsession is with our mom, but I don't appreciate it. Uh, how much money do we have now? Oh god, we keep getting a lot of money now, which is nice. Uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and learn pile driver. 
I mean, I know I could increase my health, but uh, I'm not really too concerned. This game, I don't want to say this game's easy, but it's, it's not necessarily difficult. Also, uh, Metroidvania, uh, just by looking at these maps, and they become much more, and obviously we have a while to go still, so the map layouts really do kind of prove that uh, it's a Metroidvania. And I have no pro- oh, what the hell? Um, oh, I see, so probably this was an uppercut. Okay. And, you know, as I go on, I, I really don't mind that the uppercut is the double jump. I mean, all it really does is just add variety to it. I, and it makes it different. Like, just a double jump doesn't really make much sense, like, fi like physically, like, in physics. Uh, so, it, I mean, it also may it makes... Oh, wait, we've already been over here, haven't we? Is this where we were? Yeah, we've already been here. I guess we don't need to teleport to... So, now we can go this way? I haven't been here yet. Oop. So we can go through here now, if I can do the headbutt properly. So yeah, there's a lot of little nooks and crannies where you can find more uh, money, and some people are going to be into that, you know, people who like exploration, and not necessarily everyone likes exploration, so. Um, I've already gone that way, so we are wasting time chasing cars. So this game is also two-player, in case you couldn't tell by the two-player press start. And uh, I haven't played two-player because Lauren didn't want to play with me. What the hell is that thing? That must be the thing that needed heavy petting. And I don't think he's going to bother us yet. Um, so, I, yeah, I know that's two-player, and I, I mean, it basically is just like playing the same game with two people. Uh, I don't know much more than that. All right. Oh, I almost forgot that we had to do this. So I do actually like the... T I mean, a lot of games do that, like... Oh, I should have used my new move. Uh, what was it? Down and... Yeah! That was cool. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, the fight's over. I was like... Because I get obsessive. I'm like, come on, hurry up! Spawn the next enemy! I want more combos! <laughs> Alright. Fire cannot be dodged. Okay, so that's good to know. So I was, like, under the impression that pretty much everything in this game could be dodged. Um, but I guess that is not the case. And the game is very good about teaching you how to play, so don't worry about like, well, how do I, how am I gonna know when to do what? All right, so I'm assuming fire can also not be dodged when it's coming from the other world. Oh, I missed. It. But uh, I'm see, I don't, I'm not gonna. Oh, I, I, I didn't screw up my combo, but I stopped it, which is unfortunate. Whoa! And I love that feeling of breaking the. Uh, what you call it? What are those things called? Pinata. Oh, I didn't even see the spikes there. See, that's something that happens every now and then, like, stuff will blend in with the rest of the game. And that's nothing against, I mean, that's, if anything, that just accredits the uh, art assets of this game. So go ahead and climb on this guy. I don't know if this is what we're supposed to do right now. I punch him? Headbutt him? I don't know. Um, how can I make it up here? There's no, like, wall jump? Well, not yet, anyway. I I'm assuming there will be eventually. How do I get up there? You can only uppercut one, so it's not that. I hope I'm not gonna just get like stuck now. Or am I supposed to do something with this guy? Oh wait, up here. Duh. Oops. Wasn't paying attention. Another statue. And great, uh, great dialogue now. Holy guacamole, dude! Why you gotta go and break my Chuzu statue per uh, perch? It was my perch, man. Oh well, time to teach you the new move you just got from the statue. I call this bad boy the goat jump. It's easy, easy breezy. Press X when you hit a wall. There you go, there's wall jumps. My friend told me to call this sweet move a wall jump, but that didn't feel goaty enough. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I hope no one's like prone to seizures because Sweet, so now we got wall jump. Uh, I, I figured we got this ability, but I, I couldn't remember. Uh-oh. Something's going on. So, uh-oh. Uh this guy is gone. Hey, chicken! Hey, man. If you get lazy while up on a wall, hold triangle to cling to on tight. Or don't press anything and just let it slide. See, like, I don't know. There's some really funny characters in this game, and, like... Just like a talking giant talking chicken in general is really funny. Oh jeez. Okay, so normally not good at these. Oh, that was actually not that difficult at all. Whee. Yeah, wall jumping obviously adds a lot to a game. I love being able to wall jump in anything. Uh, okay, so this is just back to there. So now 
Where do we go? Okay, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, duck. We couldn't go up here before. But yeah, the gra I mean, obviously the graphic. I don't even feel like it's necessary to talk about the graphics because I feel like it's just implied that they're really, really. Oh shit. <laughs> Uh, I feel like it's almost implied how awesome they are. How am I supposed Oh. So the game gives you a lot of these little challenge areas, and I, I actually don't know what's going to be in that. Ch oh, fuck. Those are spikes. Oops. The, the nice thing is you don't... There's really no penalty for trying this, uh, because falling in the water doesn't hurt you. It just makes you start over. Which, I mean, is a penalty, but, you know, not as much as, like, losing health. <laughs> And this is obviously not a result of me, of the controls being bad or anything like that. This is just a uh, result of me not being very good and still trying to understand all the concepts this game has thrown at me so far. Oh, man. Oh, because you can only uppercut once. That's right. So I guess that goes for... Oh. I don't want to take damage from spikes. Ah. It's okay. I mean, there's health right outside of here. So even if we, like, lose all our health. And if you die, literally all that happens... Oh, my God. Stop it! If you lose all your health, all that happens is you, uh... Oh my gosh. You go to the respawn. So I'm just trying to get used to the wall jump mechanics. I don't know why he's not clinging to the wall yet. I guess he's just not enough on it. And I keep pushing the button too fast. I really want to make this. There we go. Oh. oh, come on. Oh, God. I did it! <laughs> Holy crap. So what do we get here? Health? Oh, health. Okay, cool. So another piece of heart. And actually, we might as well go ahead and buy uh, one from the shop over here. So yeah, you obviously... Oh, wait. Wasn't there a shop around here somewhere? Was it down here? Yeah. I'm, I don't, I'm sure there'll be another one somewhere, but I might as well do this now. So we get another health chunk. Boom! Oh, my God. So flashy. All right, so our health goes up. I can't really. Oh no, I guess it went up a little bit. It doesn't go up very much though. But you know, yeah, that's probably it. Probably gives us like an extra hit or three that we can take. Uh, what's over here? Oh, there was. See, I just see there was one right there. Silly me. Hey, it's another. Uh, oh my god. Take a trip? No. Okay, so these guys will basically teleport you throughout the world. Uh, there was one before we left that town. I can't remember what it's called now. So that one will tell. Oh god. It'll teleport you between the two of them. Ooh. Come on. Get out of the dirt, please. So I can destroy you. I want to pile drive. I wonder if I could pile drive from up in the air. Let's go ahead and try that. Oops. Maybe. Well, I screwed it up. All right, let's try it now. This guy with Throwy McGee over here. Oh, I messed up. Dang it. The problem is, once they get into grapple mode, you really only have so many opportunities to uh, grapple them. I thought that guy was coming all the way over here. I want to do a pile driver. Yeah, there we go. Actually, I don't think that was even a pile driver. That was just a normal throw down. Oh, God! So, um... How am I supposed to do this? Oh wait, never mind, I'm an idiot. Okay, we I forgot we need to drop down probably like that. Yeah. Oh. There we go. See stuff like that, it's so satisfying. Like, yeah, I'm super good at this game, even though you may may or may, may, or may not be. And we don't have enough money really for anything that, that I want. But yeah, um, I haven't even mentioned the art. I mean I don't think it even needs to be said, but the art in this game is oh jeez. The art in this game is just gorgeous. Um, it, it, it really looks good, and the music is good as well. Um, I, I mean, I don't really have much to say about the music itself, because I just, I mean, I feel like it's authentic. Um, there's a few times where I noticed they, like, kind of combine chip tune, and, uh, like, I don't, I don't even know, like, cl you know, classic, like, Latin American music, and it, it sounds so awesome. Um, oh, I'm not getting, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Am I even supposed to be doing this right now? Or am I supposed to be going up here? I'm assuming I'm supposed to... Wait, I can't do anything with this, can I? Yeah, no, okay, so I probably do have to go that way. 
So I guess I do have to deal with the frustrating puzzle. Oh wait, that's, I get it now, I get it now. So we go here, go there, then wall jump maybe? No, I'm not moving fast enough. There we go. Uh, ah, okay. So... Oops. Damn it. Yeah, I wonder if originally, maybe when they originally made this, they probably did make it. Oh man, how am I supposed to do this? They probably made it so you did take damage from the water, but then they noticed like, okay, people are gonna die a lot if we do that, so let's not bother. Uh, if I could use my... Mm. The problem is I'm not even seeing like what the... Uh... Oh, there we go. I got it now. Uh, all right, so I think I think I know what to do now. Oh, what am I supposed to do with that last one, though? Maybe I'm not supposed to use my uppercut until. Oh. Oops. Let's try this one. Ah, man. Alright, I think I understand now. Oops. So we jump here. Jump there. Jump above it. Jump there. Jump over it. Okay, yeah. This is... Oh, this isn't bad at all. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, I just... I was... Oh, what a, Do I do something with the owl? It lit up. Ah, uh, I still... I really want to do an aerial... Oh, did that make them uh, fall down? That was kind of cool. So that's probably the best combo. Wait. Oh wait, no, let's get this over here. Mm, let's. Oh yeah, health. I keep forgetting what things are in this game. Uh, I want to make sure I don't skip anything. Like what's up here? Oh, let's go back down. <laughs> I want to make sure we explore everything we can before we go up there. Oh, okay. And that just is like, I guess, a shortcut. But I don't. I don't really see why we'd need a shortcut since respawns are pretty quick in this game. So here's the sassy fox again. Luchador! You haven't seen Alad... Oh my god, Alad... Around here, have you? He's large, multicolored. Looks like a, fix, a fish mixed with a cat snake? He's about the size of a house! Ah, you hiding him, so Luchador? Every second I look as... Uh, is one more second Calica spends alone with that sacrificial trout. Grr! So she's obviously jealous. Um, <laughs> sorry, you have to see that luchador. Now, I have to go find that stupid alabribli. Next time we meet, maybe we can truly tango. Maybe. Alright, so we get some health. Oh, God. Yes! We can't do an aerial pile driver. That is awesome. I mean, I figured we could. But I wasn't sure. Also, I mean, I've seen footage of uh, co-op in this game, and it's really cool to like watch people like toss up other. Oh god! Like, cause you can technically like when I do a throw move right here, like you could technically uh, throw up someone like that, and then someone else could like aerial pile drive them, and it's really or uh. Oh god! Oh god! That was really bad timing for me. All right, so let's try and like take out these smaller enemies because we're just gonna make this. They're just gonna- oh god. I wish he could like hurt his own friends. Oops. I guess they're not- probably not really friends, they're just kind of- They're all on the same side! Oh god! Yeah, see, this guy does so much damage. Do you get combo points for- oh, we have to listen to dialogue again. Can I skip it? No. Well, I mean, we're standing so close. It's too bad we can't skip this. Um, so I'm, I, I never even mentioned this, but th I'm still really early game, like, I, we're probably at about an hour or so of me playing, so, and I didn't want to go too far in the game because I, I don't want to, like, spoil anything, and, uh, I want ever, I, I really, I don't know how many of you guys actually own, uh, PlayStation 3s, or Vitas for that matter, because this is available on both, like I said. It's $14.99, which I think is a great price for an actually really, really good game, um, uh, I mean, it's been a while since I've played any Metroid... I mean, La Mulana is probably the last one I played, Metroidvania-style game. 
But even that was like, didn't feel as much. I mean, I guess that's not true. It, it was pretty much a Metroidvania game all around, but uh, this specifically like feels like a new IP of like Metroid, which I, I really do think is cool. And uh, with like the most recent Castlevania game that came out on 3D. Oh man, I wanted to get a really good combo. Oh no! Move! 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 It kind of sucks that this enemy can like instant kill you, but well, it's not really one-hit kill, but if you're health, I think it does half damage. There we go. He's not that bad. If you can just keep beating him down. Orale! Um, but yeah, the game's fourteen ninety nine, which I think is perfectly fair uh, price. Apparently, the game, according to IGN, which obviously they're not necessarily the best people to go based on review wise, they said a hundred percent completion takes you about eight hours. Um, I think it packs, they said that it takes four to five, which I, I don't think is bad at all. Um, four to five hours is perfectly fine for me. Especially because this game's probably got a lot of replayability with the combo system and trying to do better at it. There you go. Uh, but I actually feel like I'm playing really well, um, which I typically do not play these types of games well. So I'm going to try and like bounce these guys between, or not bounce these, oh damn it. I want to grapple them. I wanted to try and like, it'd be cool if you like grapple, oh god, it kind of sucks that they can, I do think it's a little strange that like they can hurt you through dimensions and you can't hurt them, I mean you could dodge them, it just seems weird, like it doesn't make sense, you know, but you know, it's a video game, so, Oops. I'm assuming we can't jump in that green stuff, well I already know I can't because I've already been in it before, There we go. This wasn't a good enough jump. Also, I need to make sure I'm paying attention to how much stamina I have, because I keep going and, like, at the very last second getting uh, that ability to do that. So let's go ahead and buy an upgrade. Um, stun boost. I'd love to get that, but it takes so long to get. Stamina regenerates more quickly. Reduce the time you have to wait before stamina begins regenerating. Let's do that one. Or... No, because we don't get health orbs very often. Like, I feel like we end up running into those tables more often than we do um, any kind of orbs. One! That, by the way, is the person we play with if they are, uh, if we're in co-op. It looks like Halika carried out a ceremony here, but you've missed it. I wonder whether they've gone. Maybe you should head back to Santa Lucita to look for clues. Okay. So it seems a little anticlimactic, right? I have a bad feeling about this. Quick, get out of here! Ah! So, uh, classic trope. I don't know if I'd say trope. Uh, classic level in any kind of platformer is the uh, the runaway. I don't know what I'd actually call this. Okay, so we gotta wait for him actually. So. Don't worry about like being the fastest at stuff like this, because what's most important is... Well, because a lot of the time you need him to actually let you progress. Also, don't worry about combat. I mean, you can fight him if you want, but I, I really don't think there's much point to it. Actually, I think we still get the kills if he kills him. Yeah, we do. So, you really don't have to worry. Oh, crap. Mistake! But see, most of the time you actually need him to be able to let you progress, which I think is kind of cool. You got an axe. Oh, so, you know, just like Mario, that's pretty cool. I, I, I love when games do stuff like this. Like, Dreambox Studios really does pay a lot of respects to not just, like, classic games. Like, well, obviously they pay respects, respects to uh, Castlevania and Metroid. But, like, other indie games, which I think is awesome. There just seems to be a really interesting... <laughs> your prince is another... You piece of shit. Another castle with my boyfriend, Calica! Grrr! <laughs> Ever since El Presidente's daughter has entered the picture... My relationship with Calica has been ruined, and now they're going to kill his pet Alubre, the Alubre I was taking care of. Oh God! I would kill you where you stand, Luchador, but I have a trap to catch, a man to win over. So she's hilarious. That that really is funny. So map, uh, we just need to go back. Oh, all the way back to the beginning. That should be easy, right? Well, probably actually. Ooh, sweet. But yeah, this game's gorgeous. It's got really great puzzles. Music's fantastic. I, seriously, the atmosphere in this game is so good. 
Uh, I, I really can't stress that enough, how much I enjoy it. Um, obviously I say play. Um, it never really should have been much of a question, though. Uh, the game also kind of reminds me a lot in the style, in the way it looks. It reminds if we can actually use this guy right now to go back to the... Oh, wow, so we can kind of get an idea of the whole game now. Huh, interesting. Um... I didn't see... Oh, we can't bring any liquids over three more than three ounces? That's funny. Take that, airport! <laughs> airport security, you tell them. Uh, I don't know how much more of this I want to show. Well, I want to keep playing, but I don't know how much I want to show to you guys. Um, I would love that cast of Crashers. Hilarious. Um, okay. So we'll just go ahead and see what's going on over here, and then I'll decide if I want to keep showing more or not. Combo Chickens Gym basically just shows you different combos as you get more stuff. Um, you It's not really necessary, but it it's interesting. Barkeep! Barkeep! How does anybody get a drink around here? Well, you got one right in your hand, so... This guy's awesome. You boy! Have you bought my or brought my tequila? What is this, some kind of joke? <laughs> Another hat, a lucid, lucid door looking to be burned. Like the awful huevos rancheros that pass for food around here. Bartender! Bah, this freaking headache. Prohibition sucked back the first time I was alive. I would have stayed dead if I knew this was all the present had to offer. You're supposed to be running away by this point. What do you want from me anyway? Well, if you must know, I was cursed by the devil to have my head eternally engulfed in flame. I thought burning people alive in my last life would care, uh, curry his favor in death, but apparently he has a complex about being the, the one of one to dole out the suffering. Or at least had a complex until Calica terminated that turkey. Alas, there is no way for me to break my curse, but as, but as in life, a little drink can always take the edge off your suffering. You see, there are no spirits in hell, but once the merging of worlds is complete, oh how the fire water will flow. Trollolololol. <laughs> well, you've definitely been worth a laugh, Luchador, but you've wasted more than enough of my time. The hangover worsens with each passing moment, and I am not looking forward to baking in the desert all afternoon. You'll share a parting shot with me, won't you? Am I supposed to roll? Oh, come on, no more bullets! <laughs> bah, fate has spra spared you, Luchador. But I assure you, the reckoning at hand will make you wish otherwise. Hey, hey, buy yourself a drink. You should relax here in town. I promise, there's nothing of interest going on in the desert. Well, thanks. I like that it actually gave you money, too. Alright, so we gotta pursue Flame Face. So I guess I'll show, like, the beginning of the desert. I mean, I might as well, right? What's down here? Oh, another Chozu, or Chozu statue. So, nice job getting rid of Flame Face and everything, but I have to ask. Were you bullied by Chuzu statues or something when you were a kid? Because you really like smashing them, man. I should let you rot in here for a bit, but I'm late for my scaps. Or soaps? So down in circle will let us do a downward slam. Frog slam! Da -da 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 -da. I don't even... No, no, it makes sense. Oh, sweet. What is this guy? Is that a toad? Welcome, this is where I live with my barrel collection until the safety of the... Looks like a toad. Like toad from Mario. So let's destroy all his barrels. The horror! The horror! <laughs> no barrel. Oh man, that's funny. So yeah, this game, I don't know, this game is real. Uh, stop! No great freaking round of bottom. Little Kevin the keg. Yeah, I, lo I love this game. I, I really feel like I can't say that enough. But oh, I don't. I was starting to say, but this game really does remind me a lot of Rayman Origins, art style-wise, specifically. Uh, but just the way like the camera's pulled back, um, how far it's pulled back. I should, what's up here? I don't know if, which way. One. Okay, so let's go back real quick. Because it appeared there was something. Also, I obsessively roll because I'm convinced it's faster. But you know, I figured you guys could tell already. We roll through there. That is for later. Um. I will say though, because I think it's one of the funnier parts of this game, to further push that this is like a Metroidvania, specifically on the Metroid's part, 
Uh, in Metroid, you got a tiny, you could turn into a ball, so you could get through smaller areas. In this game, you get to turn into a chicken to get through smaller areas, and I think you can actually fight as a chicken too. Um, so I thought that was kind of interesting, and I probably won't be able to show you guys that in this. But uh, you, yes, you can turn into a chicken in this game. It's awesome. Disruptor versus La Bamba. Whenever I see La Bamba, I just think of uh. See, there you go, uh, lo, what is that, los, la, mito, see, the, that's, uh, mutant blobs from outer space? And I think they actually made that game. Whoa, what the hell? So, uh, one of the reasons I wanted to come over here, too, I think that's Wreck-It Ralph, oh my god! <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to go this way, that's seriously hilarious, and I don't think we can hurt that thing. I just want to see the variety of enemies we have to deal with from out here. Um, might as well take out this demon. Because there's a lot of enemies, I mean, already in this game. Because that's something I typically dislike about uh, uh, platformers or beat-em-ups. Is there's not enough of a variety of enemies or you just start to get, oh gosh. Or you just start to get into like different color or variations of enemies. And it seems right now, um, whoa, what the heck? Oh, okay, so I'm assuming I need to get away from here. Because I'm going to die. I need to throw these back at him. Yeah. I, oh, I hit them both. That was awesome. And I'm assuming... Oh, damn it. I'm assuming we can also go ahead and just... Jeez. There we go. Um, the throwing mechanics, too, work really well. I mean, they give you plenty of time. You see that little meter fills, fills up. And it's not just, like, meant to be a challenge. It's meant to also uh, make you think about where you're throwing it and give you plenty of time to choose. So there's a lot of strategy in this game. Um, I, I really do like it a lot. Oh, but the, I was going to say, I really, I like how, ooh, look at the dynamic lighting in this. It's, I don't know if it's actually dynamic. It looks like it's just kind of giving the illusion that it's dynamic. Um, so uh, what I was saying is I really like the fact that it's, oh wait, we've already been up here. Whee! Uh, I, I like the fact that there seems to be a very, it's Cactus from uh, Final Fantasy. I can't remember what he's called. Cactarine? God, there are so many references in this game. It's amazing. I, I really cannot stress how much I like when games do that. Um, I know some people think it's kind of like cheesy and lame, but I seriously think it's it's so much. It makes the game much more enjoyable, and it makes it. I mean, it, it really makes you think about like the developers of the game. It's like they're you know real gamers. They're also like the it, like the internet references. Like I know some people don't like internet references in games. Uh, but I know some of those people who like love it. Uh, but you know, it just kind of shows that they know they're not stupid. And I don't, I honestly don't think they're just putting it in the game just to be like, "Look, we're just like you." I honestly think that these guys are just. I mean, that's what you get when you play indie games, though, which is why I love indie games so much. Um, let's get Dos Boot. I want to make sure we have all of our abilities. So I don't know if that's like a grappling move. Oh yeah, it must be. Oh okay. Oh, that's cool. To the top, yeah, cool. Like I said, I love my combos, and it's very important that I get combos. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I could roll through that. They don't really, they're not very specific in telling you what you can roll through and what you can't roll through, which, I mean, it's a little annoying, but what are you gonna do? So we obviously need to be quick when we attack those guys. I should try DOS boot when I get a chance. Um, I don't know. Okay, I've been recording for a while. I'll go a little bit longer. I really, just, the, the problem is I just want to keep playing. It's not even that I want this video to be longer. Um, I, I really like this game a lot. I, I can't stress that enough. Um, I don't think I'm going to let's play it. I'd like to. I think the only reason I'd let's play it is if I could get it to uh, uh, a collaboration one. So maybe when I'm done with Castle Crasher, or Castle Crashers, uh, when I'm done with Battle Block Theater. Battle Block Theater. Oops. I, I, that's cool too that these enemies they make you stop and think which is another thing that's uh, kind of a part of classic oh cool I'm DOS booting it into them so I think before I was just throwing it but now I, if I well I think I can just throw it regular too but it's DOS booting it oops so I don't I don't really like kicking them really far away because I, I want to you know kill them not I'm assuming it's more useful for when you have like tons of enemies all in a row because otherwise, well, no, it still does that just with the normal throw. I'm assuming what it does is it increases the damage of throwing. So instead of just throwing, I don't, I don't know if I'm making any sense right now. Have I been down here already? Let's get another stamina chunk in here. 
Oh, that's what that is. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I didn't even think of that. I don't know how I didn't. That's so cool. There's a lot of trophies in this game, too, which, if, for those of you who don't know, trophies and achievements are pretty much the same thing. Except for whatever reason, people don't really seem to care so much about getting trophies like they do with achievements. Not that I've known, anyway. Most of the people I know have Xbox 360, so... Alright, so, break green shields. Let's make sure our stamina goes back up. Oh, I already did it. Okay, so, uh, that's gonna... I have to memorize that then, I guess. So just... Okay. I, oh, no, never mind. That totally makes sense. That's how the blocks work anyway, so... Never mind, that's not gonna be difficult to remember. Okay, I thought we had more to fight, but I guess not. Oh, but I wanted to say, um, speaking of uh, Battle Block Theater, and uh, I think it's really interesting that, you know, Sony and Microsoft around the exact same time are both releasing. Oh, damn! That was cool. Ugh. That was awesome. See, so that's the kind of stuff you can do, though, when you specifically are playing with, like, uh, two people. like, toss them. You can toss people. You can toss someone into someone's, like, suplex or something like that. Which, it, it, it really looks cool when you watch other people do it. So, oh, I missed. I got him. I kind of want to just find, like, who goes there? Is that you? Oh, I can never pronounce words that start with an X apostrophe. I always forget how you're supposed to pronounce this. Who's down here? Hello? Come on, let me out of here. Well, this might be where we learn our chicken magic. Oh, God! Who is this guy? It's like a... What's his name? Don Quixote. It's awesome. Alright, yeah, so it's easy to remember the, the way you're supposed to do. I am out of stamina. So it's actually probably a really good thing that I just upgraded stamina since... Apparently we're going to have to be using moves like these more often. I apologize for that um, notification. Oh, their shields come back? That's ridiculous. Oops. So you definitely want to make sure you finish... Wait, maybe... Yeah, they do come back, but it takes a little while, I guess. So maybe we should have worried a little bit more about stamina. I don't really think I would have been able to upgrade it much more than that, though, so... I wonder if it's possible, though, to hit him enough to where it does, um, I'm trying to make sure my phone doesn't do that again. Oh, but yeah, I was saying, uh, I find it really interesting that Microsoft and Sony, Luchador? I, wait, could it be? Juan? Juan, caramba! Juan, I thought you were dead. <laughs> I'm not dead. Oh, Juan, I'm so happy that you're alive. I cried for so long when I thought Calico killed you, and now I'm crying again. Oh. Oh. But enough with the tears. Quick, Juan, help me out of here before Calica's crazed lover returns. Not so fast. Oh, God. But I'm going to try and finish the sentence because people like to complain that I, I don't finish my thoughts. But I think it's interesting that... What's going on in the background? I find it interesting that Sony and Microsoft are both releasing these like really great exclusives around the same time. So I, I think it's cool that if you don't own an Xbox but you own a PS3, you can play this game. And if you don't own a PS3, you can play Battle Block Theater, which I think both of these games are really, really good. Uh, oh, Luchador, like an orphaned cabbage, you rolled right or straight into my trap. Ha ha ha. I don't understand why your flesh isn't rotting. I've pushed you back into the dead world, but it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, be a doll and stay put, will you? I have to freshen up so I can look my best when I present Calico with his new gift. Look at you, trapped in a cave, dreams unattained, love unrequited, not much of a luchador. Maybe you should take this opportunity to think of your pitiful life. Um. Also, very little loading. Aww. So this is the first time I've seen anything like this, but, you know, this is always interesting. This music is great, too. This is very much like classic, uh, classic film in general sounding. 
I can't, I seriously can't express how much I absolutely love this game. Time to wake up, Luchador. So, this is the boy who slew my Alabreje. How disappointing. See, I told you I caught him, Kalaki. It wasn't my fault, he, it was his. Let's boil him in hot lava. Let's punch him in the cojones until he is a woman. <laughs> Let's... Quiet! You will speak when spoken to. Now, go back to your rotting sinkhole in Pueble... Until I have need of you again. Let's for, uh, lest I forget that you were the one in charge of my pet when he was killed. But I... I oh. Now then, Luchador. I could destroy you now, but that would be too easy. No, a cowardly pet killer deserves a coward's body. Yeah, we're gonna be a chicken! <laughs> so, uh, oh my god, that's awesome. Yay! I was really hoping I'd be able to show this, too. Uh, I don't need to buy anything right now. And uh, we can fight, by the way. So I'll just go ahead and go through this real quick, and then I will probably end the episode. Because I this has gone on for quite a while. What's this way? So this is like, oh god! Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can do anything against those guys. I also don't know if enemies will mess with me. Okay, let's not worry about that. I'm assuming we're supposed to like run past these guys. Oh, we're up above. I didn't realize we were up above. That guy's in the other world and shielded. So I don't really like the shielded enemies. That's a little bit annoying, but oh well. Oh god! Oh, okay. Oop. <laughs> Wait, we can grab. Wait, what? What's happening? Okay, we can't actually do anything. I thought we could, like, grapple it, but I guess not. Okay, so we just need to jump. And if we jump enough... Oh, damn it, I forgot that one jumps. So this is kind of... This is a really neat puzzle. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool. Get out of my way! Chicken coming through! That's like how fast we can move. Uh oh. So I don't know where we're supposed to be going right now. Okay, we are supposed to go this way. Aren't we? Oh god, okay, so... Precision platforming time! Ah, damn. Like I said, the game is super lenient on failure, which... I mean, some people probably won't like, but I mean, if you want to play a game that's not lenient on failure, go play Super Meat Boy. Well, if you're playing on PS3, I guess you kinda can. Alright, so now we're gonna get to fight! Do we ever can't grapple? Can we? No. Oh no! Cock of the walk. Oh my god, stop jumping! Get a lot of hits. Really high combos. 39 hits on one enemy. Awesome. Oh god! This is kind of cool. This actually reminds me a lot of Super Meat Boy. Wait, it's kind of crazy. Wait, hold on. I just thought about this. It's kind of crazy that they put a uh, Castle Crashers reference in a Sony game. Huh. I didn't even think about that. Well, I guess it's on PC now, too, but still, it's interesting. I've been expecting you. Don't worry about who I am. Let's just say I have a vested interest in you. You see, we're both been effect, uh, afflicted with the same curse. Fortunately for you, I can teach you how to polymorph into a human. All you have to do is close your eyes, tap your spurs together three times, and think to yourself, unleash the luchador within. What? It's not working? Well, then just plus L1 and be done with it. Poyo power! Or poyo power! Sweet. Or we can... 
perhaps if you go talk to her, she'll give you info on Talica. So how did it, how was the other way? It said, that ah, doesn't matter. Eh. Can't get up there. Oh wait, duh, I forgot about the uppercut. It's been so long. So that's cool, it's a pretty seamless uh, um, transition between the two. Which is important. Because if it's not, then it just kind of feels like a drag. Alright, so in a minute here, I'm going to end it. I'm sorry, I'm getting kind of caught up in it. Oh, we're in Land of the Dead right now, too, which I didn't realize. Oops. Strong bad! <laughs> Calica. Alright, um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it kind of took a while. Uh, this is the first time I've been in a town, by the way, when it's uh, in uh, the opposite universe. Or the Land of the Dead, sorry. Um, so guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Red Panda Gamer. I'm going to go ahead and quit, actually. Go to the title screen. Um, so guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Red Panda Gamer. Please like this video, favorite this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you're interested in guacamole, be sure to check it out in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. If you have any suggestions of games you want to see me do player passes on, be sure to comment them below. If you would player pass this game, let me know. I would love to know your thoughts on it. So guys, thanks for watching. Bye.